Hello. 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 Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Hello, teacher. Hi, beautiful people. How are you tonight? Fine, and you? Fine, and you? I'm doing great. I'm happy because tomorrow is a holiday, so I don't have to work. You don't have to work. Yay! Yes. <laughs> yes. Do you have to work tomorrow? No. No. I no. 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 Free time. Yes, a free time. <laughs> free time. <laughs> That's awesome. I'm glad. Okay. Hey, also, are you at work? Let's mute the microphone because it's getting noisy. Okay, I have one whole auto. There's some people missing. Anyway, uh, we're gonna get started. Sorry, guys, I'm gonna miss you. I hope everyone's doing all right. Okay. Yeah. That's better. Gabriel, okay. Great, welcome. We're gonna get started. So uh, we've been working on the past, right? Before we move on, because we're gonna start another topic tonight, I'm going to give you some tips on how to memorize some irregular verbs. Then let's mute the microphone, please. Mute, 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 mute. There, okay. Great. So we're gonna group them like we did, right? Um, some irregular verbs, how to memorize some of those. Guys, what's the past of think? What is the past of think? Oh. Uh huh. It's oh. 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 What's the past oh. of bring? Broad. 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 Very good. I'm gonna continue this list later. Now, what is the past of fly? You. Clue. Uh, Clue. Okay. What's the past part? Uh, flying. No, flying, flying, flying. I would like flying. I would like to memorize the past participle at once, all right? Because later, when we study, wow. yeah, when we Not study, so. it's perfect. Mm. Let's, hold on, I'm going to mute the microphone. It's nice. Let's only unmute it when we say something. Right? Great. Great. Okay, so it's flown. Uh, what I recommend you, I'm going to send you a list. If I don't do it, please remind me, okay? But I'm gonna send you a list of um, the most common verbs, all right? This is very important because you're gonna use this in a lot of tenses. Uh, for example, in the past, you're gonna use this. Present perfect, you're gonna start using the third column of, of the verbs, right? So you need to memorize yeah. that. Yes? Somebody had a question? Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. As when it comes to speaking about a determined article, which is A A or A, which I didn't understand that. Sorry. What was your question? I'm sorry, uh, when it comes to undetermined article, A, I guess I have heard uh, previously A or which one is the correct form? Uh, are you asking me about this? Hold on, am I sharing the screen? Yes. Are you talking about this? Yes. Oh, okay. Um, uh, the pronunciation of it? 
You can say A ah, or you can say A, all right? A it, it is, is correct fine. just to say A or Okay, okay. Yeah, you can say both and both are right, but A emphasizes whatever you're going to say. For example, I'm going to take a, a nap, like a nap. You want to emphasize whatever comes after it. All okay. right, no, but um, what we're doing right now is I'm giving you some uh, patterns. Patterns are patrones, okay? To identify so that you can memorize the irregular verbs in groups because this is going to be useful in the past and all other tenses. So I'm going to give you those groups because this is how I studied them personally and how I memorized them, okay? So uh, this is another group. If I'm telling you that the past of this is flu and the past participle is flown, what do you think the past of grow is? What's the past of grow in that case? It would be grew. Grew with an E. Yes, and the past Group. participle would be? Brown uh, with an E. Great. Brown. Okay, what about blow? What do you think the past participle the past is? Blue. 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 With E. Pronunciation. Yes, and past participle? Blue. With N. Blown. Look. Blown. Blue. Pattern. Blue. E. Look at this. All right. Past is with E. EW and past participle is WN, all right? In this case, think, thought, thought, eh, thought, and the same. Thought, it's exactly the same. The pronunciation is the same, so they all end in U, G, and C. That's what they have in common. That's the pattern, right? the pronunciation. Okay, I'm going to include some more here. Uh, past of five. Past of five. Following the pattern, what would it be? Excuse me, um, uh, JC, in, 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 in bring and brought, and then is brought to or thought? Ah, no, brought. Excuse me. Yes. Yeah, thanks. It's a broad too, huh? Okay. Yeah. Yes, 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 it is. All right, what about flight, uh, fight? Fight. Yes, it will be fight. Flight. Uh, okay, it would be fight and fight. All right, great. Now, um, great. I'll give you some more. We also have ring fight. Catch. What's the past part of this? Caught. Coach. Pronunciation. Coach. Pronunciation. Coach. Caught. Okay. Coach. That's the pattern. All of them end in U G H T. You have to memorize them, or I would recommend you memorize them by groups, okay? Now this is another one. And then the third group I would recommend you is the ones that have the same ending are conjugated the same, all right? Meaning. What's the past of get? Got. Got. Past participle? Got. 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 Gotten. Got. 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 What is the past of forget? Forgot. 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 Past participle? Forgotten. Forgotten. So if you notice, this verb is included here and the past is included here and so on, all right? Okay, another one. We have become. What's the past of come? Came. 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 Participle? Come. 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 What's the past of become? Became. Came. Past participle? Become. Become. Great. Another verb. What's the past of give? Game. Game. Give. Past participle? Give. Given. 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 Past of forgive? For God. God. For game. For game. For 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 given. For given. Mm -hmm. awesome. Now we have a go, for example. What's the past? When. 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 Past participle? When. Gone. 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 Oh, when. Gone. 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 Gone.
underwent. Underwent. And undergone. Undergone. Awesome. And there is another one, um, but I can't remember. Oh, I remember now. C. What's the class? C. So. 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 Pass participle. So. Sub. Sin. 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 Okay. Sin. Pasto for C. For C. For C. It's the same. You need to follow the pattern. For so. Yeah. For so. For so. So in. For C. For C. For C. Great. For C. For C. Yeah, I'm missing the E. False. What about over C, which means this is a synonym of super over C, over so, over so, and so, uh, over C. Great. Okay, now let's take a look at the pronunciation. I'm gonna mute everyone because it's noisy, guys. It's pretty noisy. Especially, it's, sorry, Mr. Vinicio, it's really noisy there. I don't know why. I don't know if it's a TV or something. And okay. All right, so it's the same pronunciation. Mm, let's repeat with me. Don't unmute the microphone, but I want to see everybody moving their mouth so that I can see you're practicing. All right, repeat after me, but don't unmute the microphone, okay? Repeat, everyone. Uh, allow, right, I'm not gonna allow you. All right, let's say, think, thought, thought. Think, talk, talk. Oh, no, mute the microphone, everyone. We're just gonna repeat, all right. Bring, brought, brought. Fight, fought, fought. Repeat, everyone. Catch, caught, caught. Great job. You see the same spelling, same pronunciation, all of them end in ought, 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 all right. Next, we have uh, these verbs. Let's say, fly, flew, flown. Yes, you're not supposed to turn the microphone on. I muted you in purpose. All right, grow, grew, grown. Blow, blue, blown. And there is one more in this category, but I can't remember. All right, next one. Get, got, gotten. Repeat. Forget, forgot, forgotten. <laughs> Wangho, good. <laughs> come, came, come. Become, became, become. Give, gave, given. Forgive, forgave, forgiven. Go, went, gone. Undergo, underwent, undergone. See, saw, seen. Foresee, foresaw, foreseen. Oversee, overso, overseen. Okay, now if you want to participate, you can unmute the microphone. Um, have you seen this before? Me, me teacher. Yes, tell me. Please, okay. Think, thought, thought. Bring, brought, brought. Fight, Fold, fold. Catch, cow, cow. Fly, All right. flew, flown. You don't pronounce this U, by the way. This sound, this, this sound, guys, the A, the A or U is odd. All right, odd. It's not out oh. or out. It's odd. One sound, odd. Okay. That's it. So this is just to help you memorize a lot of them. I'm going to send you the list. I don't know if you took a screenshot of it. Okay. Um, I hope you find that helpful. All right. Have you seen this? Ya lo habían visto así. 
No. No, not teacher. No. no. The first time. Okay. I'm happy because I, I, that's what I expected. Yo me lo inventé, por eso esperaría que no lo hayan visto. Okay, great. <laughs> Igual que otra, otra regla que tengo por ahí. All right, we're going to read the objective. We're going to change topics, so please try to memorize identify patterns all right like what i told you last night about yes i did yes i would yes i have yes i would or whatever did do try to identify patterns when you learn all right pay more attention to the things and see if they have things in common okay um now we're going to study hold on this is not yours do you have questions about the verse No. 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 I have a question. Go ahead. Um, how many ver verbs are necessary to re remind? To remember? To remember? It depends. It depends on how you want to express yourself. Okay. Now I'm going to send you a list of 50 verbs. 50, okay. because they're the essential ones. But other than that, it depends on how you want to express yourself. It's the same thing in Spanish. You know, if you want to speak better, you need to read and use different words. But if you want to speak at a basic level, then with 50, you're fine. You're going to survive with those 50. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to send you that list later for you to memorize. Okay. Okay, um, thank you. Great. Please read the objective, Kelia. Uh, Okay, learn how to describe problems in English using count and non-count nouns. By the end of this class, you will learn how to describe problems in a city using phrases like too many, too much, less, fewer, enough, and more. You will also learn about common non-count nouns, including water, oxygen, English, traffic, milk, soccer, sunshine, etc. And understand how to tell if a noun is count or not count. An English oral compression audio exercise is included. Great. Thank you. It's included, by the way. All okay. right, let's watch. Uh, take notes, please, so that you can be engaged. If you only listen to it, you know you're going to fall asleep, right? So take notes, analyze it, pay attention. Here we go. Hi, everyone. By the end of this class, you'll be able to describe problems in a city. You'll do this by using count and non-count nouns. Let me give you a quick example of this. There's too much traffic in my city because there are too many cars. You'll also listen to an audio program, which illustrates how this topic is used. First of all, nouns. What are nouns? Well, nouns are people, places, or things. Pretty much everything that you see around you is considered a noun. And what do we mean by count nouns? Well, count nouns are simply all of those things, people, places, or things that you can easily count. So for example, when we think about cars, subway lanes, buses. Those are nouns that you can easily count. Let me give you an example of other nouns that we can easily count. For example, we can count things like a pen, a computer, a bottle, a spoon, a desk, a cup, a television, a chair, shoe, a finger, flower, a camera, a stick, balloon, book, table, etc. Another thing that I would like to mention about count nouns is that we can easily change these count nouns into plurals by simply adding an S. Now let me point out what non-count nouns are. And just like I mentioned previously, count nouns are all of those things that you can count. People, places, or things that are easy to count, such as cars, subway lanes, or buses like we see on the example. Now. With non-count nouns, what that means is that we're going to look at nouns that are difficult to count. So, for example, in our chart, we see things like traffic, 
things like pollution, public transportation, parking, those are a little bit difficult to count. So let me give you more examples of some of the things that cannot be counted quite easily and therefore we consider this non-count nouns. So if we think about things like water, wood, ice, air, oxygen, English, Spanish, these are subjects, traffic, furniture, milk, wine, sugar, rice, meat, flour, things like sports, soccer, all of these things are non-countable. They cannot be counted easily. Another thing that's important to mention about non-count nouns is that we don't add an S in order to change them to plural. They, they do not have a plural form. Next, what I would like to do is I would like to play an audio program for you so that you can listen to the perspective of some people about their city. And remember that the goal of this class is to learn how to express problems that exist within a city. For example, there's too much traffic in my city because there are too many cars. And we want to use count nouns and non-count nouns to express uh, those ideas. So we're going to listen to that and I will have you answer a couple of questions about that. The buses are old and slow and they cause too much pollution. In cities with less pollution, people are healthier. There are too many cars. All the cars, taxis, and buses are a danger to bicyclists. There is too much traffic. There should be fewer cars, but I think that the biggest problem is parking. There just isn't enough parking. The last thing that I would like for you to do now is to answer some questions about your city. And what I would like for you to do is to tell me whether there is a lot of traffic in your city. So I'm going to ask the question, is there a lot of traffic in your city? Are there many buses in your city? Are there enough police officers in your city? Is there too much pollution? In your city. And as you're answering these questions that I just posted, I want you to identify the nouns that I'm using. So tell me whether the nouns that I'm using whether they're count or non count. So for example, traffic is the first one. Is that count or non count? Uh, police officers, is that count or non count? Uh, buses, is that count or non count? And pollution, is that count or non count? Okay, um, do you have questions about this topic? Table, I know it may, it may seem complicated at first, but we're going to study it little by little, all right, in case you have questions. Let me make it bigger. Uh, Another thing that I would like to mention about count nouns is that we can easily... All right, look at these. And tell me... Well, all of these examples are not countable, so there's no plural. One thing, a tip I'll give you to identify whether something is uh, countable or not is, okay, something uncountable uh, water. Means, means that you, uh -huh, uh, you cannot pluralize it. Okay. For example, can I say three waters? Is that possible? No. no. Can I say um, three furniture? This seems like you can, but no. 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 It's not possible. So for uncountable, the plural form doesn't exist. With countables, or countables, you're always going to conjugate them as singular. Okay. Even. If the meaning is plural, you have to conjugate it as singular. Now, how do I turn an uncountable into a countable one? How do you do it? If I'm talking about sugar, how do I make sugar countable? 
A cup of shoe. A cup? Yeah, you can say a cup of shoe. Right? What else? A spoon. A spoon. A spoon of sugar. And now, four, three teaspoons, right? Of sugar. Now you can count it. You need to put it in a container or uh, talk about the pieces, right? A pizza. How do I count pizza? Uh, slices. Uh -huh. Slices, right? Hola. How about cake? A piece of cake. Uh -huh. no, piece of cake. Five pieces. Or five pieces of cake and so on. Okay, that is how you make them plural. Great. I, I don't think you have any issues um, figuring out whether it's uh, countable or not. So we're going to practice, all right? Um, first, before we do the last exercise, I would like somebody to take a screenshot of this. Because this is what we're going to practice right now and send it to the group, okay? Or I'm going to send it. Gabriel, you want to say something? Mucho ruido. To noise. All right, hold on. Uh, that's better. So if you want to participate, unmute it. All right. Um, so I need you to make, I need you to work on some examples, right? In small groups. We're going to say, for example, um, we're going to talk about El Salvador, all right? We're going to say there are too many what? Something countable here. We are going to use countable only. There are too many cars, cars, bus, bus. too many old Back. buses, right? Old buses. Yeah. yeah. Remember that when you say two, it kind of has a negative connotation. So if you cannot say, oh, too many happy people, right? Because it's negative, too. Okay, and then what can we say? There should be. There should be fewer, fewer what? It has to be uncountable. Fewer, fewer. Think about the country. What's something we should reduce? Fewer pollution. Countable. Uh -huh. But listen, somebody said, hold on, let me mute you again. Right. Um, we're going to use fewer with uncountable. So can I say fewer buses? I cannot say that. I would have to say, yes, I can say fewer buses, actually. What am I saying? Too many old buses. Yeah, fewer with a countable one. Let me see. Fewer um, politicians. Do you agree? Guys. <laughs> Yes. There should be fewer politicians. <laughs> yeah, probably. It should, it sh we should have less politicians. Uh-huh. No, it is countable, so you don't say less. You say fewer. Less. Look, here you have okay. the equivalent. Okay, the equivalent of this with uncountable is the same, right? Too much. So there is too much. It has to be singular. There is too much what? Pollution. Pollution, right? We can say corruption, for example, because you cannot count it. So I need you to write eight sentences, all right? Four using this and four using this. One for each one, all right? We're going to work in groups of three. Write those. You will have uh, eight minutes to write them, so one minute per sentence. Ready? Yeah. Let's practice. Okay. Okay. Here we go, okay. answer the invitation, please.
Ramiro, are you there? Eunice, Otto, hello guys, Or do, do you have a, a, a pen handy? Because I, um, I have not. Sorry? Do you have a pen handy? Because I, I have not one here with me. I have one. Okay. Well, you can okay. write it on, on a notepad or word. And write it on the computer. I have one. Okay. okay. Give me one. Who gonna start? Hmm. Work as a group. Work together and write eight sentences total. Okay. Eight sentences. Yes, one for each one. Mm -hmm. okay. I sent you the model. So you have eight ways of conjugating it while well, you can't see anything. Eight different ways of conjugating them. So I want you to adapt this to our reality. Okay. So eight sentences, mm -hmm. one for each one. Okay. Less, less for people, yeah. yeah I think the uh, another one, okay. uh, there isn't uh, enough uh, uh, hospitals in the suburb too. But hospitals are countable. Yes. So which one yes, is countable? countable? Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. There's not, uh, non countable uh, is, for example, um, healthy, right? are countable. Yeah. So you have to say, Josue, there aren't enough. Aren't enough. Uh, uh, and oh. teacher, uh, th there isn't enough um, fish fishers or fishermen. Fishers, no, that is that that is countable. Can, so you have to say can, there aren't. Um, yes. Okay. So that, okay. But I need you. And, to, I need you to write one sentence for each one. So you have eight total, mm -hmm. right? They're not the same. They all change. So you have to write one with okay. two, one with uh, fewer, okay. one with more, yeah. and so on. Okay. okay. And the second one can be there should be fewer cars. I have and I need. Uh -huh. How many? I have how many? I need. <laughs> uh, if I say you, if I tell you. Uh, how many apples do you want? Your answer is? I want two apples. Okay. So it is countable. Are you writing, are, are you writing one example per, uh, per structure? So you need to write one example <laughs> with too many, one example with fewer, one example with enough. Is that what you're doing? Yes. Okay, great. Uh, Soldiers in our uh, city, I guess. In instead of saying uh, good, it's I'm, I'm, not sure. I'm not. I'm not sure. We. You have a question. No. We're discussing about if it is correct 
to say uh, we need more good policemen, policemen, or, or, or to say we need more uh, soldiers in, in our city, for example. Um, both are okay. 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 Good. Thank you. Yeah, because more is for countable and uncountable, so it doesn't really matter. Mm -hmm. uh, the next one could be... Uh, we have a lot of traffic in the city. Yes. Fernando, and you? Um, what do you think? I think that there are a lot of cars in the city. Yes. The other question, there is too much traffic in uh, El Salvador? Uh, okay, yes. Chakri Chak. <laughs> teacher. <laughs> Hi. Hi, teacher. Uh, do you almost, are you almost done? Uh, how many have you done? Yes. Uh, only Miguel is. Uh, we can we can't hear well, no. Oh. Maybe the signal. Yeah, no, but I'm saying what? sorry. How many have you done? Uh, uh, you know, uh, eight of them. Two. Around seven. Ah, you almost finished. Yes. Okay, great. Okay. Is. This tomato, ¿verdad? ¿Cuánto vale? How much? Entonces él le dice un precio específico, entonces es contable. How many? Eh. So we have all the sentences ready? I think so. We are back. Okay. <laughs> all right. Uh, now, share with me only, I will call one name for you to give me the example, all right? Hold on, let me close some of these, not too many. Okay, uh, help me out, please, let me see. Juanjo, tell me the first example. Unmute the microphone, please. Uh, there are too many people angry in this quarantine. <laughs> there are too many angry people. Switch. Angry people. Yes. Very good. Second structure. Eunice. Eunice. Okay. Carla, second structure. I don't hear you. Make sure you unmute yourself, all right? Sorry. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, with a cone now or no cone? It's yes. Uh, no, this one. Ah, okay, okay. This should be fewer. There should be fewer. The, the, there should be fewer motorcycle yes maybe that's right <laughs> number three alvaro everybody be ready be prompt uh, number three we need more money <laughs> everybody uh, yeah the teacher yes it's correct, we need more jobs. Yes, because if you notice, you can use it with countables and uncountables, it's exactly the same. Ah, okay. And this is basically the same too. Enough, enough, except the verb. All right, uh, next one. Uh, I think, I think uh -huh. we, we need more alternative transportation. Uh, more transportation alternatives. Yes. Yeah, or more means of transportation, yeah. Great, number four, Herbert. I don't hear you, remember to unmute the microphone. Yeah, thank you. 
there aren't enough doctors in order to assess the COVID-19. Great, good example. All right, next one, Miguel Campos. Miguel. Mm -hmm. All right, tell me, Miguel. I'm thinking. Guys, be prompt, please. All right, another person, Catherine. Okay, perfect. Um, about so much, right? Yes. Okay. There it is. You're breaking up. On the street. Too much what? Okay, I'll say it was right. I couldn't hear though. All right, next one, uh, Orlando. Quickly, guys, quickly, quickly. Sorry. <laughs> there is shall be uh, less religion. <laughs> less religion. But the thing is that religions are countable. You can say three religions, so you cannot say less. You have to say fewer religions in that fewer. case. Fewer. Oh, okay. So that, that you have to change for something you cannot count. All right. Mm -hmm. uh, next one, Milton. Okay. Milton. Milton. Ding dong. Hello. Uh, for example, Joyce, sorry, uh, in that uh, sentence, mm -hmm. uh, could be um, there should be less violence. Less violence. Violence? Mm -hmm. Yes, it is right. Okay, and right. the last one, who wants to help me with the last one? Me, the last one. Uh, uh, there, there isn't is enough medicine to assist the COVID 19. Great, there isn't enough medicine. You did an excellent job. Applauses for everyone. Good, good, good. All right, <laughs> like this, exactly. <laughs> okay, great. Now, let's do the exercise. Everyone should be on section 2.2. .2. Okay. Uh, um, all right, number one. Eunisa, are you ready this time? Yes. Okay, which of the following options is not a home now? Bus, subway line, or parking? Mm -hmm. Not a count now. Mm, subway not line. Can you say three lines? Because if you can say lines in plural, it, it means it is countable. Can you say three buses? Yes. Can you say three lines? Yes. Can you okay. say three parking? So parking. No. Uh, okay, parking. Yes, that's the one. Thank you. Okay. All right, okay. next one. Anybody can participate. What are some examples of non-count nouns? Mm -hmm. um, Computer. Water. Water, water, wood, and air. Do you all agree? Yeah. Yes. Water. Water. Air. Excellent. Yes. Great. All right. Number three. Uh, Jose. Jose Manzano. Hi. Uh, okay, you, Jose. Hey, Fernando, yes. right? yeah. Any of either or. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, count nouns. Uh, yes. Camera, book, and desk. And desk, yeah. Correct. And book. Very good. Now, Jose Hernandez. Excellent. I agree. Uh, Number four. Why do you, why? why do, why do the buses cause too much pollution? Mm -hmm. oh. yeah. uh, there are too many buses. The ocean is correct. There are too many buses, you agree? 
No, the first no. is the is correct. The first. The first. Yeah, the first. The bus yes. does too much pollution because they are all. Yes. Okay, we'll see. All right, and the last one, what is it? Why is there too much traffic? Because there are too many cars. Because there are too many cars. It's second one. Let's see. Dun, dun, dun. Ooh. Excellent. <laughs> Yay. Great job. All right, you got it. Um, now let's move on then. We're making a lot of progress. I'm going to ask you to, since it's the weekend, right, and we have no classes, if anybody feels like there is a topic that they need reinforcement with, send it to the group, please. I'm going to listen to suggestions and I'm going to review or reinforce actually a topic that you need more content on, okay? So if you didn't understand one of them, I will explain it again, or we're gonna practice it again on Monday. I mean, yes, Monday. Is that clear? Because we may be moving too fast. We're like good right now, but if I'm going too fast, I can take a day to review everything, okay? All right, uh, now, read the objective, please. Let me see who. I can help you. Go ahead. Continue building English conversational skills by learning English expressions of quantity. By the end of this class, you will be able to discuss transportation services using adverbs of quantity, including enough, many, fewer, and more. Practice in incorporating expressions of quantity in phrases such as there aren't enough buses or we need more public transportation there should be fewer cars and there isn't enough parking downtown these objectives are so long <laughs> okay um <laughs> Here, you're going to have a review of the topic, which you've already practiced. Let me see how long it is, and if we have time, we'll watch it. Hi, everyone. By the end of this class, you'll be able to express problems that exist in a city. For example, there are too many cars in my city. There's too much pollution in my city. We need more public transportation. We need more police officers. You'll also learn how to use adverbs of quantity. For example, too many, too much, fewer, more. In our previous class, we learned about count and non-count nouns. And that is what's gonna help us to understand when we're gonna use too many. For example, in this case, we have cars. Uh, we are gonna use too many and when we're going to use too much. For example, in this case, we have a non count now, and therefore we're going to use too much. So let's now try to make sense of this by looking at this chart. Let me talk a little bit about making sense of this statement here. There are too many cars, and I'm also going to talk about making sense of this next statement. There aren't enough buses. Let me present this structure now. In order for us to make sense of there are too many cars, we need to understand the following rule. Uh, and that is that we're going to have there. And by the way, this can be the subject of the sentence. It doesn't necessarily need to be there. Like, for example, we can say we have too many cars. And let me go ahead, as I am talking about that, I'm going to go ahead and write the examples now. So let me write the example that is there. There are, whenever you see the expression too many, that means that there is a problem, that we have too much of too many. In this case, there are too many cars. Okay. Um, and just so that we keep the pattern there, I'm going to go ahead and change the colors um, there. And that follows the verb to be. And then we have too many. 
and that's how we make that expression. There are too many cars. We can also say we have too many cars. What I would like to do next is to make sense of that last statement that you see there. There aren't enough buses. And this is whenever we are missing something, right? We need more of something like, for example, we need more buses. Maybe we need more police officers. We're going to use the expression there aren't enough. And then that's going to follow a count now. So we used there plus aren't, and then this is going to follow the expression enough. And what else can we say? Well, we can say there aren't enough police officers. What's another problem in your city? Well, maybe there aren't enough parks. Alvaro. What I would like to do now is to talk about how to give opinions about what is needed in a city. And so I want to make sense of the example, there should be fewer cards. That's an opinion about what I think we need in my city. So in order for us to form that idea, we need a subject, then we need should, after that, we're going to need the verb to be. And this is followed by either fewer or more. And then it's going to be followed by a count now. So let me give you an example of that right now. For example, we could say. We're going to summarize this because uh, we've already practiced it. OK. So let's do something. It's a lot of explanation and little practice, but um, on Monday, I would like you to practice more, okay? So I'm going to focus on that. We're going to make a chart, all right? Uh, what expressions are we going to use for uncountables and what expressions are we going to use for countables? We have too many and too much, right? Focus on this. All right, for much or many for uncountables what do i use much or many 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 very good many. Many. much how do i use it uncountables for uncountables we're going to use much for countables we're going to use many it's the other way around okay what about too many Here, right? Too many countables. Yes. Yeah. Then too much. Too much. Okay, what about two? I want a few sugar, for example. I, I, want, a countables. I want a little sugar. Countable. Uh, countable. Hold on. Uncountable is little. This one is few. Okay, I don't want to mix it up. Much, many, too much, too many, little, few. Okay, what about enough? Enough is... Uh, countable. Count. Both. Uncountable. Mm -hmm. I can use it for both. Okay. And then, let me see. What else do we have? More? More? What do I use? Countable. And also both more less both more okay less, less I can use it with ah fewer and less hold on this is fewer and this is less that's it. Right. Somebody's playing the piano. <laughs> Take the microphone. 
<laughs> that will have to mute all of you because I don't know. All right, so please take a screenshot of this, send it to the group and study it, all right? Because all of these is what you have to know so you can conjugate it with anything you need. Okay, questions? No, no questions. Nope. Everything clear? And thank please. you so much for your time. My pleasure. Write it down in the notebook, please, so that you can have a clear idea of which one to use at what time and when, all right? Thank you, guys. I will see you again on Monday. I hope you have a beautiful weekend. Okay, thank, thank you, teacher. You. Bye. 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 Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye.